you come here with today? Anaya Kearney. Yeah, so yes. tell me about your experience. You just recently come home from... Tennessee State University. And what was that like for you? Your first time, right? Your yes. first year? Um, honestly, I want to say it was like a really huge experience. I feel like, for one, like I'm from the West Coast, so we don't have HBCUs over here, and we're not used to being like around a lot of black people and just a lot of culture, a lot of people that know a lot about themselves and want to like share with other people. So I just think it was really cool. It's an experience, I feel like, as a black young lady and just as a black um, young person in general, I feel like all black young people should take that experience and go to an HBCU, whether it's visiting or attending or whatever the case may be, because it's like an experience only you have to be there. Like you just have to be there. So far as like the academics, like the academics, they teach you a lot about your roots, where you come from. So you learn a lot about yourself, like self identity and just also and then the social life is un uncompared. If you ever been in a place where there's hundreds of people that's just like you, you know, been raised like you, all that type of stuff, it's just a whole nother vibe. So I feel like everybody should have an experience. And I love it, honestly. So. That's awesome. And by the way, who am I to you? My uncle, my uh, Uncle Melvin. Okay, great, great. We got that in. So what has been the most impactful since being, you know, because you leave, you you leave in Compton, you join in another experience, which is in Tennessee, Memphis, right? Yeah, Nashville. Nashville. Yeah. What was that impact for you from Compton, from the Compton experience to the Nashville experience? Honestly, I feel like it was a huge change for one, because Nashville is very country. It's on, you know, it's the Midwest kind of, and I mean Mid East, but you know, it's, it's very different. The dynamics are different. The people are different. You know, everybody on the East Coast and in the South do things very different. So the fact that I'm from the West Coast and I'm from Compton, like there was nobody else. Like I was the only one there. So it was just like, they got to share their culture with me and where they're from. And I got to share them and give them a taste of the West Coast and they love me. They call me Naya from Cali, you know? Naya so how, how did they, I mean, once they found that you were from Compton, what was like that for them, you know, with you observing like, it? It was like, oh my God, this is like straight out of Compton. No, it's not like straight out of Compton. It was similar, but not really. And then they were just like, oh my God, like you live in California. Why did you come all the way over here? And a lot of people knew already because of like the way I dress and just like the way that I am, like it's from home. Like, so everything I do, the way I cook, all that type of stuff. So everybody knew like off rip. So it's just like, they're just amazed to, be able to like interact with someone from a totally different region than them so okay yeah. that's great i'm glad you got a chance to have that experience at the family because now we hope that we get more because we got more younger people in our family that are doing things that are actually being on the uh, on the forefront of, of forward thinkers and just people that just want information and want to use information to guide themselves in this life because the more the information you have, the more successful you can be. Right. You're, there's no, the only limitations we have is the ones that we either place on ourselves or we allow others to place on us. So I'm glad I had my great niece here to share it with you guys and you guys can appreciate her journey. And what's that great point average? 3.9, baby. 3.9, see? So I'm telling you, when y'all see the hood professor, the hood postman, and you guys be making, you know, some statements or whatever you make, know that I got people in my family. I got my people and they are highly intelligent. Yes. With that being said, niece, I appreciate you. What can you say to people going out? Um, I want to say thank you very much. Make sure you subscribe to my uncle's channel and just to stay tuned and just, you know, broaden your horizons. Get out there, interact with people, meet different people. So, yeah. Awesome. I appreciate you. I love you. Love you too. Bye-bye. Lock the door. Lock the door?